My name is Ollie Marina. Uh, I'm the Area Director of Nursing for Dublin South Central Mental Health Services for the General Adult and the CAMS Community Services. Oh, I'm working in nursing now <laughs> since 1985 uh, and I started nursing. My father was a nurse, uh, my mother worked in healthcare. Uh, I suppose I kind of talked to them about it. I suppose they felt it was probably the right career choice for me. And looking back, it certainly was. And I'm enjoying it and it's been a great career for me. It seems many moons ago now, but I first started my nursing career in 1984. Uh, it was back at a time when I suppose the landscape and career opportunities in Ireland were quite different than what they are now. So after working for a number of years, I then decided on looking at a career opportunity that would give me lots of opportunities and challenging challenges that were, could be available to me as a nurse. My father died from cancer when I was a teenager, so that introduced me to the health service environment. And at the time, my cousin was training as a nurse, and I thought, oh, this sounds interesting. It seems very diverse. I was watching what was going on around me. So I decided to become a healthcare assistant just for a couple of weeks to see what nursing was going to be like. So I just really took to it. I loved the people interactions of it. I love being with a team of people working alongside them. And I suppose my idealistic younger self thought, I'm making a difference here. Well, I started nursing back in the 80s as a cadet nurse and uh, my career then grew from there and uh, a few years into my career I developed uh, an interest in a specialty for severe and enduring mental illness. So uh, yeah, quite a long time nursing now. I think the very core values of nursing hasn't changed at all from back in the time of Florence Nightingale. My core values as a nurse myself haven't changed. It's I suppose how we deliver that service has changed and how I work within that service has changed for me and how I lead others then has changed. So we started out, you know, working in an institution. I started out in St. Brendan's, which was very much an institution at the time when I started in the 80s and then progressed to community mental health care. And, um, you know, really that's how it evolved. We evolved then from a very much uh, an apprenticeship model of nursing into the degree in nursing. And many of my colleagues transitioned from that academic, uh, well, sorry, from the academic, from the apprenticeship model into the academic model of um, nursing. And it was a huge transition then for everybody really to step up to new policies and frameworks and deliver care in a different way. I'm Anne O'Shea. I'm the chief officer for this community healthcare organisation, CHL7, South Dublin, Caldera, Swicklow. I'm not a nurse by profession, but I've had an awful lot of interaction with our nursing community since my very early days as a med lab scientist in the mid-80s, uh, where I was analysing lithium samples for the uh, uh, mental health service in our area. And uh, from there, in my different roles as managers, I've always had interaction with our community. But I must say, I, I, I've really only uh, being fully exposed to the service once I came to community services. I think mental health nursing is a really special strand of, of nursing actually. I think we are very person-centred. We make sure that our care is individualised to every individual that we meet and work with. And I think that's a really special thing about mental health nurses, that what is important to maintain my mental health should be individualised to what I need. And equally what's important for your mental health should be individualised to what you need. Mental health nurses make up the largest uh, component of the health service, particularly in the mental health service. Um, I suppose they're highly trained, they're very resourceful, um, they're full of kindness and care and commitment to their patients. They have a really positive impact on patient health care and I think probably a wider impact on health and well-being in the society as well. Fundamentally, the art of nursing hasn't changed dramatically. We're still based upon a therapeutic relationship, developing that with our young people, the families that we work with. That's still the essence of nursing, and particularly psychiatric nursing. What has changed is more the science of nursing, that whole application of skills, the whole advancement in nursing uh, from the mid-90s, where nurses became more autonomous, where nurses developed more skills, was lots more training opportunities. And nursing, I suppose, got an opportunity where they could flourish within a healthcare setting, whether it be an inpatient community, community or a wide variety of services in which we work. I've always been passionate about the value that nursing brings to the wider healthcare team. Uh, I, th I think because we've been in a unique position, we've been in a very privileged position over the years. We work very closely with 
young people, families, carers, the wider MDT as well too. That value added that nursing brings, I think we're, our skill set is very much based on those values of care, compassion and commitment. I have worked in environments um, in the acute sector where mental health nursing has come in to support the delivery of care for our patients and the difference they make has been phenomenal. Mental health nursing has always been at the forefront of change and innovation in our healthcare service. It's undergone a huge amount of change over the last 50 or more years. Um, and it's gone from a place where, you know, there's a lot of stigma attached to people with mental health to now a place where people are viewed in a more um, compassionate way. My name is Kevin Brady. I'm Head of Mental Health Services in Dublin South, Kildare and West Wicklow. I think what's important from a mental health perspective is adding value uh, to service users' perspective on a day-to-day -day basis. How do we support mental health service users who need us through different uh, uh, levels of care? Somebody's recovery might be in terms of their housing, some people's recovery might be in terms of their employment, some people's recovery might be in terms of their severe and enduring mental health and having living a stable life uh, as best they can out in the community. That's adding value as far as I'm concerned. I suppose when people think of nurses, they probably do see the visions or the images that you see in the media of nurses that work in hospital settings, that work in general wards and so on, whereas mental health nurses, we work across a variety of settings. So we do work in hospitals, but a lot of our staff would be in community settings. So we try and deliver care to people in their own home where we can, um, because that's what people want and need. So the value that they bring is that, I suppose, like that they work across a variety of settings. They individualise the care that they deliver to the service users that they they work with and they deliver that care 365 days of every single year. They forego Christmases, they forego bank holidays, they forego special events with their own family to make sure that they work with individuals who need help when they get when they need it. And I think this year in particular has been incredibly challenging and stressful. So when you're working with people who have mental health difficulties and really challenging stressful times, um, it's a remarkable achievement and it's just it takes a lot of compassion and commitment and resilience to make sure that you can continue to deliver a safe and effective service that doesn't stop. I suppose for me my exposure obviously to the mental health nursing uh, has been through my work in the community in, in, in the la last number of years and I have really been blown away by those words that I, I've read in the briefing document for today and that's around the care and the compassion and the commitment and uh, the commitment nursing have shown I think in the service in this area has been really uh, dramatic in terms of how we have changed our service and how we have transformed the mental health service across Ireland and in this area in the last 10 years and I think that is down to the commitment of every one of our mental health nurses. I would say it's really difficult to quantify that the value that nurses bring to a service because I would say that they're invaluable I would say that they are the powerhouse behind delivering services into people's homes, into people's communities and into our acute wards. They are the powerhouse, that's what makes them invaluable. The WHO have uh, designated this year as, as a year of the nurse and I think that's recognising the huge contribution nursing has made globally to uh, patient-centred care. To me, I think the Year of Nurse is all about celebrating, particularly mental health nursing, uh, the contributions we've made to society in general, and particularly, I suppose, the contribution through our clinical leadership, to uh, our highly effective skills and our leadership qualities. And I think that's why we should be celebrating this year. The year of the nurse and the midwife has been a really exciting development for us all. We knew it was coming down the line, we had so many plans made for it. Um, what it's doing is really raising the profile of nursing and midwifery. It's really bringing us to a place where people can really see the work we do. There's a lot of stereotyping, there's a lot of stigma in certain roles and in certain areas of healthcare. And the year of the nurse and midwife can bring to the public and bring to the greater awareness 
um, what we really do, you know, and how much change has occurred, how innovative we are, what developments we make, and what difference we make really to the lives of everyday people. I think it's important in the context of 2020, 200 years since Florence Nightingale was born, in terms of her being a leader, we've enhanced that. And again, nurses have provided that leadership role in developing those services for us. I was really concerned that the year of the nurse would be overtaken by the year of the COVID and that everything has been overshadowed by that. So, so important to take the pause, to take the minute, and to take today as an acknowledgement and as a celebration of nursing in the mental health services. This has given us the opportunity to reflect on our values, on how they can shape nursing and how they can shape healthcare. Uh, the pandemic has certainly given us that opportunity and uh, I think it's been an opportunity for nursing to shine, to be at the forefront of all of the innovation and all of the care delivery that has happened throughout the pandemic. I think like our general nurse colleagues, um, mental health nurses have been out on the front line from the very start. They're dealing with adversity, they're dealing with all kinds of difficult situations and they're doing it with a certain calmness and resilience and they're just getting on with things, as they always do. They do the ordinary things in the most extraordinary way, in the most extraordinarily challenging of circumstances. And we do that every day. And I think that's why it's time to celebrate the Year of the Nurse. Every day is a good time to celebrate, but right now is the best. It's also an opportunity for us to stop and reflect on what has happened, what we've achieved, where we've come from, where we are now, and where we're hoping to go. I am extremely proud of the contribution of the mental health nurses, particularly this year, to looking after our patients, protecting people, preserving life, supporting our colleagues, and doing that in a very kind of a calm and collected way. For the patients we look after, and for those who can't be here today, I would like from the bottom of my heart to sincerely thank you for your contribution throughout this awful pandemic and I'm sure for the work that is to come as well. I just want to thank all the mental health nurses in Ireland because what they bring across all services, it makes such a significant difference and to continue the good work that you do. I think it's really important to thank the organising committee who've been instrumental in bringing us to where we are today. They've worked tirelessly behind the scenes. It showcases in one way the skills that nursing have, that whole planning and organisation piece, that whole innovation, that whole elements of service design and uh, uh, embracing uh, innovative care. I want to say thank you to all of the nurses, staff nurses, student nurses, all of the nurse managers who navigated their way throughout this year in a very difficult, challenging time without a compass or a map and their only focus was to provide the best care that they could to their service users. Thank you. We've gone above and beyond as per usual in terms of the delivery of care that you bring and I really just want to say thank you to everybody for all, everything that you have done. On behalf of mental health service users and families and carers, I'd like to thank Mental Health Nursing for their drive, energy, commitment to provide services at the front line in the most challenging of circumstances at the time, particularly in the context of COVID-19. Thank you. Thank you again for the opportunity uh, for me as Chief Officer representing the HSE in this area to say Mila Bachas, Ochri, as an Obergeleid, a Tadienta, a Giv, Leshnebliente. Enjoy your day, enjoy the celebrations, and I'm really glad to be part of it. Mila Bachas.